Wait a minute. I have to. Oh, wait a minute. I messed myself up. Sorry, guys. I have been running around all day. So sorry. I've been calling out your names. What a dork. <laughs> no, it's not you. J April, I am an idiot. I Sorry, Joyce Miller. I know. I don't know what I did wrong. Hey, Metziana. I just went to lunch with my friend and I came running home and my husband was here because we had a door guy come because uh, we need a front door. Yeah, I wasn't in the stream. I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay. Well, I was said hello to all of you. <laughs> sorry about that. Now it's too late to go back. But hello, everybody. I'm not an idiot. Some days, some days. Speaking of husbands, well, Hayward is up taking a nap because his car broke down. I had to drive him to work today because he had a meeting at 530 in the morning. So anyway, here we are. We made it every day. I come on. It's a miracle. So good to see you all. And we're going to have fun. I didn't quite have time to set up like what I would have wanted. To. You know, my normal organizational way. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get along and we're going <laughs> to. We're going to make it happen here. So um, I hope you all had a good day. I had fun. I had lunch with my friend um, from Canada, who I haven't seen in a long time. It should be illegal. I, I went to bed at four. No, I went to bed at three, and then I read for a little bit. <laughs> then I had to get up at, when did I have to take him? I went at four, I got up at five, something like that. Not much sleep. Anyway. Um, first of all, I did remember to bring my sad little craft roulette project. So here's the first one that I did. Hi, Marika's from Germany. I don't know, Lisa. All right. So you have to remember, I was given four parameters, which were card with flaps, um, child story, uh, tiles and winter colors. All right. So this is what I came up with. It was kind of cool. Um, actually, this has a flap that opens. Went down the <laughs> Poor Wendy. I put my book in the wrong place, so I had to wrap her around. But she's still there. And Peter's flying around. And so uh, what in my fantasy world, this was going to be a graduation card which I, I don't know how, who I would send it to, but it's got flaps. So it, it met all of the criteria, but I also had to talk at the same time and answer questions. And I'm lucky I made it through. But last week I wanted to show you the one that I made and not that this is the most beautiful little thing, but um, this one was, oh, you did it too, Lisa? Yeah, it is fun. Um, it's fun when you don't have to worry, you know, about time and stuff. I mean, two minutes to get your supplies. I When I was doing it, I ran around. I looked for 10 minutes. Anyway, the one that I did this time was, oh, I can't remember the things. One was wheels, um, rainbow or something like that. I think rainbow colors, uh, small bag and shimmer. So those were the four criteria. So this is what I made. And this was a little thing called the shopping bag. And so I was like, oh, I have a small bag. And so I made like a little birthday card on wheels. <laughs> so, and I did it in an hour. So I was very happy to know that I could do it. And it's fun. I'm going to do it whenever I can. It's just fun. It's a very nice community. So you had fun with the wheels and rainbow. Oh, yeah. Leslie does these amazing things. So it's fun to see you guys over there, too. So that was, is that bag die from years ago? Yes, that was probably five or six years ago, Glum. So anyway, the other thing that I must confess about, last show we did the waterfall, and I did it wrong. Well, I did it in another way. So today I just want to show you quickly an alternative way to do the waterfall. And I think it is easier. 
actually, but <laughs> I just didn't remember. Cause I, in my mind that the way I did it seemed right. You amaze yourself. <laughs> we all amaze ourselves. All right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do some envelopes using this die. And this can fit in many of our journals. And I think what I want to do is cut like a little portfolio kind of thing. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Yeah, just another way. Charlotta, you, I love you. You're just like so positive. There is no wrong. I mean, thank you. <laughs> uh, well, you know, like I should know this. But anyway, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm bad. I'm just, sometimes I don't think all the way. You know, anyway. All right. So let's uh, let's do that first. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some little envelopes. And I, I realized I don't think we've ever really done them on the the um, the show. I don't think we've ever done one of these envelopes, put it together. You know, hey, Julie, how are you? No mistakes. All right. OK, that's good. The only sneak peek of the new release. I don't have any near me. I. Actually, I have some upstairs. I get, I'm getting them. I just got two. Tanya, I didn't open your box yet, but I opened Jenny sent one and uh, they're amazing. You guys are going to die. This is, it's a good one. Um, I don't have any down here though. I put them all upstairs. So sorry. Uh, maybe next time though. Okay. Um, actually, I had to talk to you about that. On Tuesday, I'm going to be on the road because I'm out going out to Sizzix. So I'll see if I can do a live from there, maybe run up the stairs. Are you kidding, Leslie? You trying to kill me? <laughs> you haven't used your envelope die. Okay. If you die, you won't be buying. If I die, I won't be selling. <laughs> Running up the stairs might happen. So uh, I, I will try to do that if I can. Um, yeah, they're really pretty. Okay. I'm, you know, that I'm there for pre-order. Yes. I have to get that together before I leave. So I'll be listing the pre-order in the Etsy store. Yes. Should be a crafter's mantra. I agree. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's turn the camera down and <laughs> we will do this waterfall and then we're going to cut. It looks fine, Tanya. Your box looks great. You, you pack it like the Fort Knox. You do a good job. All right. So I took the one off that I was doing because that elastic or the um, adhesive that I was using was not sticking that well. And I tried a couple. So I think adhesive wise, this is a better way. And, uh, you know, you'll see when we, when we get to it. So I'm afraid to do this, but I hope I do it right. All right. Let's see. Okay, well, a little crooked, but you know. Okay. I put the pink mat because I think I might be using Mod Podge. Well, let's move it for now. Oh, there it's sliding away. Okay, so here is our waterfall. And we started putting this together last time. What the difference is last time I had you folding over, which is not wrong, but it gives a little more resistance because these want to pop up. So what I did this way, and you could still get your title up here, you know, just do like a little label up there or print it or write it or whatever. And it's laying a lot flatter. And I just should have thought of that. But anyway, it's all right. It's another way. So now you have two ways instead of one. So and you could put the little mat up here with an explanation of what that is. Or you do have the little tag inside here that you could write about your dogwood or whatever. So all you do to do it this way, see, well, it was a while ago that I made this. And you can work these flaps. Sorry, my fingers, my fingernails are dirty. Ugh. All right. So what I did was I used my glue adhesive, not the tape. It just seemed to work better. All right. And I did not look at what I was trying to do, like color and then. Yeah, I think we'll finish up with the pretty, this one. All right, so all I'm going to do in this case is add adhesive to the back. And it's also easier to line it up here as long as you get it right. But you can see when you lay it down, okay, that's parallel. 
you know, and then just press. Um, don't put it too tight to it or that's going to make it kind of pop up a little. But, you know, get it in there right where it needs to be. Now, I have adhesive on the back of this, which is kind of nice because it keeps it stuck down. All right. Hey, Anthony, how are you? All right. So I'm just, and I think what I did on this one, I folded that and I shouldn't have, but I'm not going to beat myself up over that. Okay. All right, and this one, and yeah, we're going to have a little leftover. That's all right. It is a good thing to have many ways to do things, because you may not always have your supplies with you. You may, I don't know, you just may need another way to do it. That happens. All right, we're almost done. And then I thought, I'll show you the belly band idea. And we can trim this piece off at the bottom here, or we could put like a little title down here or to from or whatever, whatever we want to do. Okay. And it looks like it did go off track a little bit here. Yep. It slipped. Well, it's already glued down. See, that's the thing. You use the glue, then you're locked in, but I don't want it going off track. Nice white core paper there. It is pretty. And I'm just going to do that straight because I, I want to line this up like that. It is a lot easier doing it this way to line up the sides, I will say. Okay? So there's that. So we got that done. And then I had this was an extra piece of paper. This was that one. So what I was thinking was, I wish that this matched a little better, but I want to show you the idea and just the fact that I have it here, uh, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to trim this down to the same width as that. And then we're going to make an easy little magnetic closure. So it looks much easier than that you always fold the panel down and glue the tab down. Yes, that's what I did the first time, Anthony. And I think it is easier this way. And, you know, there's no rules that tell you how you have to do it. So do it however feels best to you. All right. So now we have two of these. I probably trim this down before I thought about it. But we have to look at, actually, yeah, we don't, We this can still be freestanding. If we glue this down, and then I'm thinking we glue one coming up. And I'm thinking I might trim this off because I don't think I'm going to add any more. Let me get my little trimmer here. Wouldn't worry about a tab off. Yeah, we don't want anybody thinking a machine made it or something. So I'm just going to trim it. Whoa, I don't want to trim my... Okay. So now we have our perfect size waterfall. And so what I was thinking was we just take this and glue this here in the middle. And then we do the same thing here, just like fold it over. I like this white core paper, but it does kind of crease or, you know, it, well, this one didn't split, but this one kind of did. So just think about that. But uh, And then let's cut this about a little over halfway. Ooh, I should have done the trimmer. Well, it's not too bad. And then put this one going up here so they meet. And I am going to do the trimmer. I don't know why I put it away every time. And I think it might be nice to round these. So let me get my little corner rounder. I really like this one. It's easy. You don't have to like worry about 
set like on my now see i don't know why it's doing that look at that i'm putting it in there all right now it did it you have to feel it kind of engage i don't know what that's up with that okay so then what we would do is and you could have the long one going that way it doesn't matter And then what I was thinking was you would get a magnet. These are some of those like basic gray magnets. I'm not even looking here. Sharonville in August. Yes, Anthony, I'll see you at Stamp Away. That would be fun. That's an island. And these are some of those strong magnets. That you can't get apart. <laughs> so I would put one here, and I should probably glue this on first. Actually, I would like this to be a different color before I put a magnet on. So, you know what? I may do like maybe something pink and this aqua. I can find that paper. I don't have it on me right now, but you saw how I did it. And then I would just take a magnet and I would glue it under here and then take the other one and glue it under here. And they would be attracted. And, you know, make sure what I do when I put these on here is I'll put washi tape or double sided glue, you know, the uh, strong tape just so it stays. And then, you know, it would just open it. Oh, I could do my paint to darken it. Hmm. If I squirt it, it wouldn't break apart. You know, I don't know, maybe Leslie. It's not that bad, it doesn't bother me, but it's just a little off, you know, <laughs> oh, weirdo. Well, wait a minute, maybe this. I'm not gonna do another one now, but I just wanted to show the technique. But I did just find this, which is pretty, and this might work. Hang on. I think that would work better. So after this, I'm gonna make one. I'll use this paper instead because that could that could be good. Okay. So um, just another thing. I when I do these, just make sure that you tape them down because these are so strong they will rip stuff apart. So just you know, do the first one and then lay the other one underneath and the other one will go to where it is and then just mark it on here, but do it on the back or you can poke a little hole or whatever and just, you know, put that one there. And then all you have to do is open that and you can flip through, all right? So it's pretty, anyway. All right, so that was the thing there. All right, so let's go ahead and now make an envelope and I could use my paints to darken it actually but if I have something it'll take me one minute so otherwise I'll obsess <laughs> you know how I am okay all right so the next thing that we're going to look at this is a very handy die and let's just look at the parts to it before we cut it all right now, there are a couple things to think about. This is it. It's called the journaling card envelope and window. Actually, it's windows. Okay. So I have these in my Etsy store if you need them. And we have lots of examples of ways to use them. Also, this month on the blog, we are talking about journaling fodder. And if you haven't heard about what that is before, that is just stuff that you put in your journals. So it might be a card, a tag, uh, you know, usually they're embellished in some way, you know, like layered and, and um, thank you, Glum, um, you know, that you do something to it. Uh, and then, then it's interesting. And then you can tuck it in your book. So I am really on a quest now to kind of get a bunch of supplies ready and then when I go to sit down and put a book together, which I never really get to do, 
uh, then I will have everything that I want. So you want to think about like the colors that you're going to use. Um, yeah, and it's a good one. All right, so here, let's look at it. And I have two in my pack because I was cutting, or maybe three, I don't know. Um, okay, so one by one, this is the envelope die itself. So if you'll notice, it's got this little window here, which means that you're able to cut an opening in your window, in your envelope, if you also, when you're cutting, use this. So it'll cut around here and score, and also cut this card out, which you get a card and you get this opening. Now I didn't fix up my sewing machine to bring it here so I could stitch this, but I do recommend it, especially this one I've got, um, it's, uh, what do you call it, dye packaging, it's pretty thick. But you could use like vellum, you could use all kinds of stuff in here, you know, if you wanted to see through, which is kind of a cool idea. You know, you could put a gift card in there. This is, this will hold, let me just take it out. This is a three by four and I cut, I sewed too close, but um, this is what it looks like when it's, uh, you know, empty. It's still pretty. But you could put something else behind it. You could, you know, there's all kinds of things. And this piece that you cut out, that's what you get. So that's the journaling card that was in there. I don't know if it's the exact one. I was cutting a bunch at a time. So you could put that side in if you wanted. But that looked kind of boring. So I turned it that way because I love the flowers. So that's what I did. So that's one option, okay? Um, then the other thing that you could do is instead of cutting this shape, you could cut this oval shape and that will put a nice little opening in the back of the envelope, back or front, you know, whatever you consider this, I guess this is the back of the envelope where you open it. So this would be the front. So instead of this shape, you would have that shape. So, you know, I... This is uh, an ATC, which you can also use it in an ATC, you know, and that would be a nice little frame, actually. Ooh, that would be, wouldn't it? Look at this. Wouldn't that be a gorgeous frame? See, so these are the kinds of things that when you have a stack of stuff, you can mix and match them and put them in whatever combinations you want. Yes, I think the shakers is a great idea. Yeah. Um, so that is cool. And a little photo back here, you know, cause you can still see around here. The other thing that comes with it, things that come with it are these two openings. So this would be like, if you wanted to have a sentiment in the back and you did a card and then you stamped like happy birthday, and then you tucked a gift card in, you know, that would show through the window. I think that would be really cute. And then here's a different one that's a little longer and skinnier. So, or you could do two of them at one time. And that's what I did on the packaging, which I actually have the packaging, but I can't remember where I put it. But that's what I did right here. So this one has the like embossed look with a, ta a tab. And, you know, you could write something in there and use your stamps, your doilies, your other dies all together. So that is how that one works. So let's go ahead and just cut a couple. And then I had an idea to make like a portfolio out of if we cut two of them. So I would like to try that because I don't know if that's going to work. We might have to work together a little because my brain is just not, not working so hard today. Okay. You love the skinny ones and then have the clear cello over them. Yes, like a bill envelope. Yeah, and I've done that too. And it has such a cool crinkly noise to it. Yes, I didn't even say hi, Anne, but hi, Anne. <laughs> and hi, Bellari. Who else do we have in here? To any new people, I say hi. I'm getting a drink. It may be that I've had a little too much caffeine. <laughs> okay. One other thing that I want to talk about is you have to think about what side you're going to be looking at because, as you can see, this is a script font. 
and obviously that's going this way, you know. So do you would you rather have that show up on the back um, going the right way or would you have it rather have it going the right way when you open the envelope like this and that's what you see? Oops, see, I got to be looking on both sides. So remember you're going to put the right side uh, oh, right side facing the die. So that's the one that you want to think about. So if you want this going when you open it up and when you fold it over, it will connect and it will be going the right way. Let's do it that way and then you'll see what I mean. Is that right? Yeah, I hope so. Well, you know what? If I can't tell, it's probably not that big a deal. All right, so let's just line this up. It is pretty wide and I'm using my chrome um, cutting pad. Hi, Marion. Good to see you. Hey, Kathy Baxter and Helen. Good to see you. I'm glad you're here. We're just kind of messing around today. Um, okay, so now we have the envelope. So see, when we fold this up, and you're going to have a little score line here, you see how it falls into place. And then there's going to be one up here. Just feel for it. This is pretty thick paper, so you may not always see it, you know, if there's a, a pretty good pattern going. Now, the other thing is you can think about it. If you do it wrong, just turn it around and go the other way, you know, just go like that. And then it'll be, who cares? You won't even see. But I think we're good because we wanted the writing to go this way, okay? So now the only, we're just going to take our glue. And first, I would fold these in. And they go right to where they're supposed to go, which is nice. And then just a little glue. All right, and fold it over. Now, this is going the other way, but it still doesn't look bad, I don't think. Can you even tell? Hey, Jody. Hi, Jan. All right, and then just press it. And you could use your bone folder if you really want to, but you know, that's pretty, pretty well down, okay? And that is just a cute little envelope. Now there was one, I wanted to show you how, um, this one, you can't even tell, but what I did here was I cut a little slit. I took my pencil and just marked on here, like where the slit comes down. So mark here and here. And then I just took my blade and I went, cut a little thing there. Now I think um, I, then I put it together, but if I were to do it again, I would cut a longer one because it's kind of hard to get it in there. You have to bend this. The thing is, this is a really thick paper. This is a 49 and market paper, but it just tucks it right in there. <laughs> I didn't do the blade. I didn't do it. So that is, that's what it looks like when it's finished. Isn't that beautiful? Even just that. So when you want to go and put this in your journal, um, there's a couple ways you could do it. Let's get a journal. And well, let's just use this one because I have it here. And let's take this one out and we'll just use this as a sample test thing. So what you could do is before you put it together, um, let's cut another one and then let's do that thing and see if it'll work. So I'm just wondering, I think it should. And then the other thing is you can take this piece that's left over. This is very convenient because that is a half of a six by 12, or it's half as 12 by 12. And you can just take your card wherever I put it. And you can cut a card out of the extra paper. And you could also cut, if you wanted, these shapes. So if you wanted to make a card or like a little frame card, that would be cute, wouldn't it? That's kind of neutral. Um, Oh, here they are. You could cut a couple little tabs. And the other thing is, if you 
You can go that way or well, I guess you have room here for that one. But you could actually make like a little sentiment strip. You could use these for sentiment strips and do your stamping and then, you know, line up in a misty. And let's just put this in the middle. Now, sometimes I got this tape from, and I got this mint tape from scrapbook.com and I really liked it and I don't see it, but this is good too. So you could just put a little piece of the purple tape or whatever kind of tape you have, because if you move this at all, it's going to shift and just run it through. And you have then all little pieces that you can put on other journaling cards or tags or other things that you have. I always wondered why Leslie does that. She doesn't trust me. Uh, not really, but I've had a couple close calls. I burn myself with a glue gun. I have been known to have some accidents, some crafting accidents. She just is teasing me, I think. <laughs> I'm actually not horrible with them <laughs> some days. The only thing is this stuff really stick sometimes but it doesn't stick to the paper uh also you might need this to poke this through any pokey tool all right so now we have all these fun little pieces and that's where like what i was showing you the other day you can also hurt yourself with pokey tool <laughs> um and then there's still even more and then make sure you use your little tray to hang on to all your pieces because you get these floating on your table and you can't find them. Trust me. So I'm just going to throw these on here and put them to the side. Okay, so now we have... This is our matching envelope. You wouldn't believe all the stuff on my desk. You might. <laughs> Where did that stupid envelope go? Here it is. But you can mix and match. And if you do them like neutral enough, then a little pop of color is nice. So see, you could even put that on the front there. So all these pieces could be, and then like a little title. That's kind of long. But you could make like a little pull out of this. Or we didn't cut the tab. That was what I should have cut. So let me just cut a couple more because we have them and they're out. And I have an extra piece of paper that I want to use up. Okay. So actually, let's do a couple tabs. I have some extras here. So let's just do that. And I'm going to use my teeny tiny little cutting pad because... Oops. I'm ripping up my paper here. Okay, so now we have some of everything. And these are nice and neutral. All right, you got five packages today. Wow, brought them into your room with a look. I know, that's the thing. My husband was home today. I'm like, what are you doing here? I didn't have anything with me. But yesterday I did. I went down to the scrapbook store. And I got some fun stuff. I got this stuff called Wax Effect. So I want to try that and see how it works. All right. So these are just little tabs that you can fold over and add to your cards or whatever. And you can flip them either way. Or you could cut them in half and orient them that way. You know, put them in like that. It does make a nice little pull if you have them in a pocket. So like if you put something in here and you had trouble getting it out, you could just pull it, you know, you just pull it out. So that's kind of fun. This size envelope, you could glue the envelope body. Yes, that's what I wanted to do, Leslie. So let's put this aside and cut another one. And yeah, I want to glue them together. 
but actually we, we need to cut two because I want to do them without gluing them because then I have more options. So I can trim off the little tabs if I want. Uh, let's see. Let's do these two because they kind of go. This is big. All right, so they're going sideways, so I don't think it matters. But the text is going this way, so let's just do that. And again, if you want to just tape this down with your purple tape in one little spot, it should stay while you get your cutting pad to run it through. Okay. Good paper clip covers. Yes, it would be excellent paper clip. Crafting is dangerous. Um, Kathy Baxter, this is a three by four journaling card that will hold a three by four journaling card, which means, yes, it would hold a gift card too. Yeah, because those are like, I'm going to say like two and a half by three and five eighths or something. Okay, there's one. These are really thick paper. So think about that. If you want some that are going to be a little more flexible, then you might not want really thick because they're not going to bend too much. But why why would you want them to? If you want them for pages, they're great. So I would, if you don't have this one, you might want to think about it because it's pretty cool. Now, the other thing, too, is if you think about it and then you say, oh, I wish I had put... Uh, an opening there you can still go back and do that you don't even need this you know it's kind of nice for centering though so let's go ahead and put an oval in here just for the heck of it so you can see that it works so let's lay that back down but you know we don't need to but we are all right and then so you can you know you can use these with anything they don't even have to just be here, I just try to eyeball and then just kind of clamp this on there. And just make sure it's lined up right or it's going to chop your envelope again. If uh, it moved. See, that's why. All right, let's use our little. Yeah, I would recommend that. So it's not too late. It slid. Oh, you saw. <laughs> Leslie is having a heart attack. But I like this because I like these little ovals. Um, and remember, you were asking me, you guys, what like what this little. Uh, where did it go? I moved all of my stuff to do this video. But remember, we had the little this journal, and you were saying, where did you get the ovals from? Well, it's this you know, and it holds in papers and stuff. So you can use them. Just think of all the ways that you can use all the pieces. It's mind boggling. All right. So let's, let's look at these because I might be chopping off some flaps. I don't know. Let's see what we want to do. Because what I was thinking was, I would like to make like a little folder. And I know if you look over in the, um, on the blog, uh, some of the team have done that. I can't remember who. I know Jenny Atkinson made like a little book. So, um, or like a little folder, I would say. So you could do it a couple different ways. And you could, let's just score them so we know where the folds are. And remember, we can chop these off if we don't want to close them into folders. Or envelopes, I mean. Let's just see what we have here. Hi, Beatrice. You keep missing. Yeah, watch the replay. Well, it's not so hot. <laughs> you shouted, hey, Janie Jane. Okay. So we could overlap these and fold them in. That may, might be kind of weird because that's not really a page. But this might be interesting. We could glue, you know, I'm saying, actually, you know what? If we folded these in, 
that would give a nice little pocket. And I don't think anyone's done that. So let's see how that works. But just be thinking, I can reconfigure all of these little pockets. And, you know, that's kind of a cute little folder. You know, then you could do magnets right in here. Let's put this together. I think that's pretty. Now, we won't have a bottom to, or a, like an inside to it. That's all right. It's probably an easier way. And I didn't even look at the pattern, really. I just want to see if this works. So, you know, if you're testing it out, do use kind of your, you know, extra papers that you don't care about. But, I mean, they hold up. Yeah, because look at this, you've got a nice little pocket here. So maybe you want to put a little adhesive in here too. I was thinking about that. But, and because I cut a uh, thing here, let's put a little, where that little journaling card go? You know, that could go right over it or this. You know, now you have a neutral page and a pretty opening so you could do a photo in there can you run a line of glue or tape runner at the bottom yeah you could do that down here. you mean here yeah let's do it and you know if i were doing this i would i mean if i were doing it better <laughs> i would take my clips and you know let this sit for a minute because it's not going to want to stay this is really thick paper so just keep working it but I think that's a cute little little thing to put in a journal or you could even make a card out of this you know say you're giving it like say for a new baby you put a picture of the baby you put the card here maybe it's got you know congratulations you put the little gift card here or more photos whatever you want and then your message and then you close up your little wallet you know isn't that cute? Or tie um, a ribbon around it. I just think that's so cute. So that's one way. But actually, that's not the way I was thinking. But that did turn out pretty good. Let me just cut a couple more. I wish I had done these ahead of time. But um, I still have a little bit of time. Uh, all right, let's do... I, I just have this pretty paper... And I, I want something that's going to match. So you could join the flaps with an extra piece of card on each side. Yes, it could glue. It could go out. Oh, yeah. Or, okay, see, that's I. That's what I mean, Janie Jane. If you cut a couple of them and you just play with them, you're going to come up with all kinds of ideas of ways that they could go. And it's probably even better to have more than two because if you want them to extend, you can make this a little mini book, you know? So, tons of things. Hi, Alice. How are you? Hi, Rebecca. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, she's saying hi to Tamitha. Hey, Tamitha. How are you? All right. We're just making some little... We don't know what's... All right. Should I put a little opening? I think, you know what? I think I'm going to cut it first and see how it goes. And then, it, then I'll know where I want to have one. If I want to have one. All right. And you know, if I had my longer platform, I could be cutting the journaling cards at the same time, but that's all right. All right, one. So I would say keep the tabs on because they could be useful to close things in in the direction that you want them, you know? You look at the photo here. The black part of the right is the fastener. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what that's about. But I'm sure Glum has the situation in hand. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Good 
to see you. Tamitha, good to see you too. Yes, I love these 49 in market. Oh, beautiful. And they're so sturdy. If you're making a book, it really is a good way to do it because they're not going to like wimp out on you. All right. And then we can make our little cards. But let's fiddle around with this for a minute. All right. So what I was thinking was, all right, make sure you get the right place. You can always tell because this is where it, you know, and if you're in doubt, just lay it over the side of your table and the line will come out. Okay. All right. And here it is. Okay. It's hard to see on this one for some reason. Okay. All right. So what I was thinking was kind of like you were saying, an accordion, you know, kind of like this. So it would fold in and have little pockets, you know. So actually, I would do that too and just close them in like this. And that works too. So, you know, you can arrange them in whatever you need in your book, you can accommodate that by just folding. And so here we just overlap these, which is kind of pretty. And then we're just gonna glue these in like that. And you're gonna have two little pockets. Now you could put that, um, actually you could keep that one separate and use that as a closure and use this as an outside pocket. That's pretty, you know, so. This could come back. Oh, or, all right, so you do them back to back like that and put a line of glue here and one here. And you have pocket, a pocket in there too. But you don't have the interaction. It's not moving too much. So I would, I kind of like this one where you just cross those over and make a pocket here and a pocket here. And the good thing is, there's actually room to hold stuff and it's not going to come out because you're going to fold it together like that, you know, and that'll hold it in. That's cute. Don't you think? We have a pair of dies to get through. All right. Okay. Card caddies made for death. Oh, that's nice. You can glue one end of the fastener to that cover and use magnets or Velcro. You can use whatever you want. That's true. And that's what's fun about it. Um, this one, actually, you could just leave and that could fold up and you, you know, close that one or even do like that little tuck. You could tuck it in. And then this one, you kind of need to have glued down to this. But that's the only place that you really need to have the glue. Um, and then this was what we did last time. So it's, it's not that big a difference, but it acts in a different way. You're just overlaying it instead of uh, putting them together. So I like that. All right, let's see what else we can come up with. All right, what if we overlap these? No, that's not going to work, but you could do like an accordion. No, that wouldn't work. Nope, that's not going to work. All right, what else could you do? You did that. Well, you could chop this off and do like little pages for a book. You know, you could glue these two together. Maybe that's what we just did. <laughs> I just folded it a different way. You know, turn these over. So definitely don't cut these flaps off because they could be handy to make you little pockets. And put these like that and then you yeah that's what we just did or you could make this a little nope same thing <laughs> yeah that's all right or you could go like that 
Oh, that's cute. What about that? And you fold this around or under and hook that one up like that. And then you have a pocket here. That's cool too. All right, do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Could you do a top flap? Um, I'm not sure, Lynn. What do you mean a top flap? Um, See, these could go out. This one is a little off because you've got that stuff inside of it. But I kind of like that idea, you know, where you're making a little pocket enclosure. You could close that. You could change that flap. Or just leave it like that and tuck stuff in. And then open it in here and same thing. Actually, I would probably switch it because. Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> so it's not the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's pretty. But this would go this way. So you can see, just playing with this, you have all kinds of different combinations. So I hope that you guys will play around with this die if you have it. Um, hey, Judy Cantrell, how are you? We hope your mom's doing okay. Yeah, I think I like that one, actually. And you could do a little string closure here and wrap it around to close it all up. And that one's... Yeah, that one's not going to work. So that one I would fold over. But that looks like a little envelope. So anyway, I hope that you can see, hey, Pam Bray, that there are a lot of possibilities for this die. And that's not even counting if we cut the holes in it, you know, like this. I mean, there's just tons of ways that you can use it. Here's some more. Um, this is another one. This is just used as an envelope, but even if you just had two envelopes, you know, it's just cute. You should play around with them. <laughs> I'm going to cut a whole ton of them, and I'm going to play with these, and you could fill your whole little book with it. Now, you can fit this in the card caddy, but you can also fit it in one of these and just, you know, attach it to the side. A really fun thing. This is one that I found that I made a while ago. I think this is um, paper leather, the black, and I embossed it and then I put the luster wax on it. And I got mad because I did that, but I could put a title right there and you would never know. But what I'm thinking is you could even put it in a book like this and is there? All right, pretend that this is a page in a book, okay? This, make believe this is just a page in a book. You can take this and just use that as a little flip out here, you know, maybe with a magnet, or maybe you just adhere this side, or you adhere this, and then you have a little tuck here. I mean, I'm telling you, there's just tons. Hey, Lenine. You need that die, Teresita. There's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Plus, you could just put a gift card in it, like a birthday card with a cute little tag, you know, I miss you, or happy birthday, or whatever. Lynn is getting idea overload. Yes, I know. It's crazy. And that's not all. I mean, that's 10 minutes of, you know, manipulating things and playing with them, but lots and lots of ideas. Let me get out the rest of them. I might have some more hanging around here. We did that one. We did these. And that's just even the main piece. We didn't really even get into cutting these little pieces out or making things out of them. Uh, I think I have some more. And I was going to talk about doing fabric, but, you know, we only have so much time, guys. So here's just a plain craft one. I mean, that'd be good for Father's Day with a little gift card, you know, with a picture of the kids or, you know, a dog, whatever, anything. 
and you put another one on the back of it to stabilize it. It's just so cute and so easy. And it all comes on one die. I mean, I just convinced myself how good this is. <laughs> I haven't played with it in a while. So they're just fun. So these two would be nice, you know. Even, yeah, backing them, glue, glue, glue. And you have two envelopes and a pocket in between them. And if you were putting this in a book, you could put this under the elastic and close it. And that would keep it in the book. Or again, you know, you lay it around the side of the page and it, two of these fold out. You know, endless, I'm telling you. Ah, <sighs> a hiccup in the video. Uh-oh. No sound. Don't scare me. Am I back? Uh-oh. I don't know, guys. Can you hear me? Reload the page and it'll be fine. Okay. Well, I'm almost done, guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I am going to be busy getting ready for my trip to California. I leave on Tuesday, but I'm going to, I'm making a lot of samples. I got to do videos and I can't wait for you to see what is happening. It's not going to be till July, but that's only a couple weeks from now. You can do it. I really can't tell, but see how that cracked, but that's kind of, um, looks aged, you know, you can put a little brown, I didn't even distress anything either, so oh, it's just so cute, all right, you could do a whole book of these, really, all right, guys, I'm going to leave you to your thoughts, but if you come up with some additional combinations, please put them over in the fan club so we can all see and make some like that too. All right. And yeah, see, I think that would be cute with just a little tuck, put the glue here, glue here, tuck stuff in. You know, you've got yourself a little mini book, really. Ugh. And magnets would be cute, you know, because if you're tucking, you could put a magnet right under here and right under here and they go, you know, depending on how much stuff you had in here. But that can hold a lot because you have like a little gusset there. Okay, the envelopes would look terrific in a hard box glum. She doesn't give up. <laughs> it's on the list, glum. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tamitha. Yes, thank you for saying that, Tamitha, because I never say it. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I never remember to say that um, because it's just fun to all work together to make fun stuff. And I thanks, Tamitha, for reminding me to say it. I should have a big sign, but which I probably wouldn't look at. <laughs> oh, boy. It's already enough for me to remember to show up here. Okay, look at all these fun little envelopes. That could be a book right there. They all go together really nicely. Who knows? I think an accordion would be cool too. If you just left them all out and overlapped them and fold, fold, fold. Mm. All right, who knows? We should have a little, look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? These are always great times. <laughs> Yes, go to May, go see May May. Yeah, I have to call May May. We gotta have a talk. Yes, those are fun, <laughs> Rebecca. I know. I have to get over there too. That's when I'm usually making dinner. So I go up and I listen to May May and Finney and Shannon. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you. Um, I'll see you probably on Tuesday, but it might be from the road somewhere, maybe in an airport. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Where's my little thingy? <laughs>